what I told you that I use 24 hours to learn and this is the result of using 24 hours to learn for your final year paper a whole course that you use like three to four months to learn how can you use four 24 hours to learn like who does that to the SJS vlog where we talk about fashion lifestyle and entertainment FJ. so today with the strength of a woman, she Jackie says. With the power of a woman, she Jackie says. Everywhere she goes, every day, she Jackie says. With the strength of a woman, she Jackie What's cooking? What's popping? SJS Nation, SJS Fam, it's your girl, she Jackie says. And I am back once again on your screens with another video. So today is Vlogmas Day 14. And as I said in my Vlogmas Day 12 video, I asked you all to let me know if you'd want me to do a live reaction to my final year university results. I think I wasn't really specific if like my whole university results or if my final year university results. I don't even know how you're going to cover this video. But hey, this is going to be a live reaction to my, my university final results. Probably if there is time, I don't really want this video to be lengthy. We could probably go as back and as far back to level 100 uh, because I spent four years in the university yeah so if you're new here i am she jackie says your hostess with the mustas and you're welcome to my channel where we talk about lifestyle fashion entertainment education anything we react like i've stopped reacting anyways but um yeah travel and what have you that is basically what my channel is about so today as the caption goes you're going to be doing a live university reaction a live reaction to my final year university results yeah so with all this in my time let's get right into the video the first one um is let's go straight to my dissertation because that is the most important thing and i literally did a whole video of it i started from april april may june july i guess september so i finished in september like that was a whole lot of months for my dissertation which um it's also known as final year project work um long essay and whatever it's literally the same thing so for the dissertation i had an a <laughs> yes for the dissertation um we have an a here that is for the dissertation and uh, we have you guys remember we put a lot of work in that and like we were stressed out i remember my supervisor stressed and stressed out so if you guys haven't watched that video the link is down below in the description box so better still check up here i remember i took you guys i vlogged every moment of it when my supervisor was sending me back and forth like to work on it he wanted a perfect work i wouldn't say my supervisor is a perfectionist i stressed out i kind of stressed out of my project work um probably even though I put in my best yeah so i'm pretty sure yeah we deserved an a for the dissertation ain't nobody telling us that we didn't deserve an a for our dissertation internship the off-campus um teaching practice so you all remember um i started bringing you all into my school life during my internship time and uh we did an internship for four six months and you know my university we have education attached to our course so we're made to go and teach not made to go and teach but for those of us who have education attached to our courses bachelor of arts um social studies and education we went out there to go and teach in the high schools to that was what i went to teach i know my other colleagues who went to the junior high school some went to the the primaries and whatever like everywhere there is social studies you go out there to teach and that is in relation to other courses but i have other friends who went to industrial sectors that is they went to um businesses and like all this kind of stuff so for those people they also we all did our intention but mine was the teaching practice that is mine so it's internship stroke teaching practice as you can see over here internship of campus teaching practice because some of my colleagues like they didn't teach some also we, so it was basically intention and that one we had an a oh yeah we had an a for that one for that course yes it was it was just what i think i put in my best yeah i put in my wrist uh let's move on let's move on to the other courses so you guys remember i took you guys through my final year examination where i told you that i used 24 hours to learn and this is the result of using 24 hours to learn for your final year paper a whole course that you use like three to four months to learn how can you use four 24 hours to learn like who does that so let's look at the results we had for those courses so um does this course the youth and national development so funny enough the when the results first came i remember 
the results were not even in but i was just there at work when i got a message that i've had an ic which is like incomplete in that course the youth and national development i was like what i wrote the paper and all that but hey um i think it was rectified my examination script couldn't be found and all that but it was later on rectified and um i had a b plus yeah i had a b plus for that course now let's move on to the last course for the final semester the last the second course i so i did obviously i did four courses in my final year one internship was the level f the final year first semester and i started my project work too for the first semester and the next one we have here is the civic ideals and practices in social studies so guys this course let me give you a background to it it's a course i never understood anything i really didn't understand anything i was just going for lectures like as a good student going sick and funny enough i never i never missed any of these lectures i was always present um i i guess at a point i understood at a point it was like a whole lot of stuff like i remember <laughs> i remember already so so this particular one this particular result i wouldn't really want to talk much about it i also had an ic in this course and i had to go and rectify because i had some issues with whatever like there were a whole lot of issues this is ghana for you our system is not always working like um, we have in other advanced countries you always have issues with your portal i know people who had ic's ic throughout and some people are not being called for them to rectify because if you don't rectify your ic ic is like huge it's very huge it brings you a big gap like it just put your cgpa down but obviously um funny enough my four years in the university i have never had an ic i'm incomplete i never i've never had that so when i was called when i was told that i had an ic i was like i was shook i was so surprised i didn't know what to expect because i know i've had people students who had ic's who are going through like tedious ways just to get it rectified because probably you go to see the lecturer the lecturer wouldn't be around the tossing and the turning it's stressful like it's stressful a friend of mine was telling me something i forgot to yeah she was like she had an ic she chased the lecturer chase like not chase as in chase but um anytime you know lectures are busy obviously they are busy and most of the times when these ic issues come sometimes they might not have time for you so it's up to you for you to get it done yeah so it's like becomes an extra job for you it's like and i i see it looks like a whole course on its own anyways let's see the results we had there for civic ideals and practices in social studies we had um the credits was three so i had a c yes i had a c in that course oh, how can you use 24 hours to learn a course you use four months like it's not possible so yeah yeah so let's talk about my university now it's university a scum yeah it is a scum because someone wouldn't attend lectures not really learn and all that and still make it because like i would definitely still use me as an example now let's go back to my my whole final year um gp or whatever like see final year everything my degree that i'm taking home now a lot of people out there would think that um I know a lot of people they came to the university to have fun and those people who came to the university not to have fun they are still completing with the same class like it's normal so sometimes the university is a scum sometimes it's not but it's up to you i just advise people that you should know who you are and know what you want if this is what you if you are going in for first class go for it i think it's 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 somehow easy and somehow difficult to get it but if you set your mind to it you're definitely going to get it so i am currently completing with um uh, 2.95 yes a 2.95 and my gpa dropped i was at 3.1 before the COVID. um let me check so yeah before the COVID, before the COVID, i sort of dropped when um during the COVID times so we started this online something like this online something we sort of messed my grades up i think my de my department courses were great i had b pluses throughout um as you can see i had b b b b b b pluses throughout for my um level 300 second semester i had b pluses throughout but my minor courses where i had two d's which like sort of dropped my cgpa like i dropped i totally dropped and normally when you are like 3.0 3.1 it's easy for you especially when you are level 300 it's easy for you to drop back to um a 2.9 yeah it's very easy for you to draw back to that so i wouldn't want to explain that or give um instances as to why i didn't do this or that so it dropped because 
we started these online lectures and whatever and i failed to do some of the online courses and i couldn't rectify there's no way to rectify that and obviously we had two d pluses like two d pluses lingering in the portal so i came with the final year with um two d pluses like a whole lot of b bunch of b pluses b b b b and um a d plus two and when you have a d plus it's huge and you had a kid's work. You know, like the A, when you have an A, you get a D plus. It's like the margin is very huge. The margin is very huge. And um, that was how it sort of dropped my like my GPA. But hey guys, I am happy. I'm I'm okay. The thing is a two nine is great. A two nine is like it's 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 okay for me. It's never bad. And uh, I would always say that I never came to the university just to learn. I am she Jackie says before because I came to the university. I learned a lot. I learned a lot. I did pageantry. I learned how to MC. I think I found myself when I came to the university. I and I was so much involved in the things I found out about myself. Wanted to improve more. Wanted to know more. That I sort of put the books aside. Even though I tried as much as possible to balance everything and all that, I tried. But we still got to wait. Yes, we still made it. So if you are wondering. Um, for the first class, the classes is like the first class is three point, um, I think five or so. Yeah, three point five upwards to four zero as um, first class. Um, second class is three points. So second class upper two point five to three point um, four nine is second class upper and lower. And two five below is like third class and one something is like pass. So for our grading. I think 80 I'm not really certain I'll get this before I edit this video I think 85 is an A in my university so like 85 percent is 80 85 percent which is an A in my university UEW I think we are similar to UCC also yeah that's our grading and um, if you get a 65 69 I, I'll get a grading for you guys and put it here so that I don't mess anything up for you guys to see how the grading and everything is done like we tried our best guys so anyways i just wish i had more time to react to my whole university results from level 100 200 300 400 no i just reacted to 400 i wish i had enough time to do all that but this video wouldn't allow me because i've got a lot of talking to do when i start from the scratch so anyways i just hope this video is um, beneficial to you and just know that university is a scum like school is a scum man anyways thank you all for watching today's video graduation is tomorrow and um we can't wait to step there clean just to graduate and all that oh my god anyways thank you guys for watching today's video it's still your girl she jackie says your hostess was the most that's for you the hottest that juiciest and i am out peace guys trying to make a living never gonna freaking stop no way ain't nobody stopping her no way yes no way oh it's in your zone